We studied this morning a little bit in the book of Matthew, 24th chapter, and we'll look at a little bit of scripture in Daniel also. Uh, we have had a battle of battles with uh, trying to come up with a lesson. And, uh, and, you know, it's, it's uh, just like I said, well, oh, the devil, the devil just keeps on, keeps on, keeps on. No, but anyway, we all pray for it so we might read something or something might be said this morning that would, that would bless the church, that would uh, uh, make a difference in somebody's life this morning because not only here but uh, other places, are, this is the wonderful thing about it is that the uh, uh, word is given to go out into the world. And Amen. I'm so thankful for it. I mean, uh, the Lord has blessed us. Uh, he's blessed us so much that we can... We can tell the world about the Lord Jesus Christ. So Amen. In verse uh, 3 of chapter 24 of the book of Matthew, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when all these things shall be, and what shall be the, the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world. So here the disciples, and of course it's always been a question in the minds of all when is it going to be what do you think that what's going to be happening and uh how long do you think it's going to be well we don't know no nobody know and anybody that that uh, tries to explain how uh, when the day is or how long it's going to be or uh they're just speaking in the air because they they're it's it's not appointed as a man to know the time Amen. and so uh but we can uh we can see a few things that he's that Jesus has said to these people, and then we can uh, read the other scriptures for that we know by the uh, signs of the time that there is going. To, it's it's drawing close, and you know he uh, he gives us signs all the time, and uh, all we have to do is just open our eyes and pay attention to what's, what's going on in the world. But here we see that uh, they ask him a question here about. Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Of course, we have Thessalonians that we can tell. We can read some there at Thessalonians, and, and it tells about some of the things that's going to be happening and, and these things. But I would, I would this morning, that you, if you would turn with me to the book of Daniel uh, a few minutes, and we want to make just a, a quick study here in, in the last chapter of Daniel, in the 12th chapter. Of course, this is this is the final. This is the final stand. This is the final, the final uh, few because the the Lord told Daniel, He told him what He wanted him to understand, but then He didn't want to tell him anymore. And so we'll see what He said at that time in verse one. Uh, at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which which standeth for the children of my people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a, was a nation even to that same time. Of course, this nation that he's talking about is Israel. And we know this morning that Israel will be the last one that the Lord will come and, and deal with. And that all the, all the kingdoms of the world, all the nations of the world, will be against Israel. Amen. Uh, it, it's, it's foretold in God's Word that all nations will gather at, in the valley of Jehoshaphat and there that they will declare war and they will gather up around Israel and that they will try to annihilate. And of course we know that the Lord will intervene with this that He will come and destroy all of these people. But here He's telling Daniel, He's saying this, that there's... There, there, this, is a, this is a time and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since it was a nation. And then we want to look at this and, and, and we're reminded of the thing of Jacob's trouble Amen. and how that he uh, got uh, where he was by uh, uh, getting his uh, father uh, giving Giving his father, getting his father to give him the birthright, or the, uh, stealing the birthright from his brother, and then giving, getting the blessing. And uh, of course, Israel got the blessing. Israel had the blessing, but they give it away. 
they done away with it. They wouldn't serve the Lord. And, and you know, when Jacob, uh, he uh, went to uh, work for Laban, and of course, 20 years, 20 years he labored, 20 years he, he did all of these things, and so he accomplished something, but had it not been for the Lord, he wouldn't have accomplished a lot. And so, but anyway, these are some of the things that Jacob went through, and then after he got through there, he had to face his brother, which is sworn he'd kill him. Mm -hmm. And so we see, we see this is a time of trouble. And here, as a, as a, uh, Daniel is, is listening, to, uh, as Daniel's being told this, he says that, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And so we don't know, we don't have no idea of what Israel will have to suffer. Right. But they will. And the thing of it is, we as God's people need to keep in mind and watch the times and, and the signs and all this. And we know that, that the Antichrist is fixing to make his appearance. And there's no doubt in my mind but what that the Antichrist is, is sitting in the background right now. Right. And in the shadows and of everything else. And he's, he's looking and he's watching and he's, he's like the old, the old serpent. He's, he's right there ready to strike when, when the time gets right. And so there's going to be an antichrist that's going to come on the scene shortly. Right. And we as God's people uh, need to be aware of that. And we need to tell others that don't know about the antichrist and what he stands for and what he's going to do to this world about the things that he is going to do. And we need to uh, be much... Uh, be much in tune with the times. So he said here, notice in, as we read, continue to reading, and he says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And so that Israel has Israel has went through the Holocaust. They went through all of these other things. But listen, he says the, the God's word says that 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 that, that trouble that he's talking about here is going to be worse than the Holocaust. Right. It's going to be worse. And there were, I think it was six, six million Jews killed. And so you can imagine, I don't know if this, if this pertains to what's going to happen to Israel, but there's going to be a trouble there, I can guarantee you, and, uh, and it's going to be a serious trouble. But here he says here uh, in verse, and they and thy people shall, but now notice here, and, uh, and uh, let me, let, me, let me get this back. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even at that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. So we're going to see, and I, I believe, and this is the book, the Lamb's Book of Life. I, I, I'm sure that's what he's talking about, the, the, uh, the record. And so there's going to be in this time of trouble, a revival break out in Israel. It's got to be because, listen, there's going to be here, he says, that every one that shall be found written in the book. And so I believe that there'll be a, 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 a reviving in Israel, even during this, this terrible time of trouble, there's going to be a revival. And here he says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So we see here that he says there, and, and, and even, even here we see the two resurrections. We see the two uh, times of that the, the saved are going to be raised and then that the lost are going to be raised. But he says that many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And we, 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 we think back about the firmaments he's mentioned in here and when God created it over in Genesis in verse uh, chapter 1 there, he said, let there be a firmament, let there be a space, let there be in that firmament lights and things of this nature. And so he says, and they shall be wise and I believe he's talking about Israel and, and, and shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And so 
by them saying that they're going to turn them to righteousness, I believe that we're going to have a pouring out of the Spirit over there in Israel. And uh, I believe that they're, they're, it's going to come. It's going to come through the Gentiles and through this. Uh, way that we have of speaking to them through the satellites and things of this nature and that's going to be a great help to the, the people there in that time and again that's one of the reasons why I am so thankful that we have what Man. we've got that we can share this word and I hope that Maybe there might be some in Israel that will hear this, will, will, will try to understand it and, and, and say, well, hey, we need, to, we need to think about this because, listen, uh, something, somewhere, something is going to turn on them. And I know that Jesus Christ is going to come back and they're going to accept Him as their Savior. But there's, a, there's a, got to be a conditioning coming back there or something to teach these people that Jesus Christ is Lord. And of course, I know they will accept Him. But here, uh, in this, and, but here He says to Daniel, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the word and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Right. And so we know that knowledge is increased, but it's a sinful knowledge. A lot of it is, and it's not a spiritual knowledge. But here, Daniel, Daniel is told this to shut the book up. And you know, as you think about the many people that God spoke to, like Daniel and, 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 and Paul and uh, David and uh, some of the others, uh, listen, you know how how much it must have hurt Daniel to say, okay, I can't, un I can't hear no more. And, and it's the same way with us here this morning. You know, if, if we had somebody or something come in and say, okay, we're not going to have no more church here. We're not going to study no more of the Word. How hurtful it would be. How right. un uh, 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 it would be for us to have this put on us. But Daniel says here, then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Now, we are talking about a time that, that has never been before. And he gives them this time of of seven years or three and a half and uh, and he says this thing will last three and a half years after the antichrist comes in and takes over it's going to last that long and people that's that's a long time to be in in the condition that they're going to be in right you know they they suffered during the holocaust i guess for for probably more than that but here he says, I, uh, the, and I heard the man clothed in, in verse 7, in linen which was upon the water of the river when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time and times and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And so this these things here that we see here that we are that we're reading about here and over in the book of uh, Matthew, the, these this is it, this is about the same thing that's going to happen. And so he said, and I in verse eight, and I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And so can you imagine Daniel with all of his understanding, with all of the dream interpretations that he had he had done and all this but he says here oh my lord what shall be the end of these things and and you know i know he was thinking about all of those people right that would, would be punished that would be killed that would be mistreated and all these things but he says here in verse 9 and he said go thy way then for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Now, we have the privilege, we have the privilege of understanding what he was talking Amen. about. Amen. And, you know, even, even 
as we have that privilege, there's so many people that just they don't care. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't want to study. They don't want to go to church. They don't want to serve the Lord. They're just just as hip hop as they can be. And uh, but he said here, uh, many shall be purified in verse ten, made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And so this morning. There is a few here this morning, but we understand. Amen. We understand what's fixing to happen. We understand that it may not be in our lifetime, but listen, we understand that it's going to happen. We have faith in the Lord's Word that it is going to happen. And we can warn others that are, are younger than us and, and, and that will, the, the mothers that can tell their children about these things and the daddies can tell their children about hey it's going to happen Amen. it's going to happen and be ready for it because listen it's 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 i believe it's on the on the screen right now and it's fixing to take place but here he says uh in verse 11 and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Now this thing here of the sacrifice was a thing that the Jews got to do. But the Antichrist will will keep them from doing the sacrifice. That's the way I understand it. And it says from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate. And that is the Antichrist coming in and setting himself up as God, right? And saying, "Hey, I am God," and and there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. There's going to be three and a half years of that. That they're going to have to be over there in Israel, and the Antichrist is going to be in the church, and he's going to be in the government. He's going to rule the government, and he's going to rule the the spiritual realm of it too. And he's going to be in full charge. And right. And 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 you know we're 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 on the brink of the edge of this uh, order of of the uh, uh, people of, of, of controlling our spiritual uh, part and our and our, our government part. And they can they can use one to counteract the other one, and they can keep us from doing what uh, what what we want to do. And so this is what this will come in a stronger time. But he says. Uh, here it's going to be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh to that the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou, go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. And if you if you'll notice, sir, in the numbers, there is two different numbers there that, uh, uh, and there's a forty day difference there. And I have uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, what is what it why did he give two different numbers but uh, there's 40 days difference in it and of course uh, 40 if you get to looking at 40 there's a lot of things that can happen in 40 days and I really I don't, I don't, I don't know but back in Matthew now if you would turn back with me to Matthew just a little bit we'll read a little bit more here but in Matthew's uh, in, uh, uh, 24 and uh, I believe it was down to uh, verse uh, 6. Uh, here he says they ask him the question for many shall in verse 5 for many shall uh, come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet and so we have the wars and the rumors of wars that's been going on but listen these all of these peace talks and all of these things, there is going to be a I, 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 there's going to be a time, and this three and a half years before the last three and a half, that the Antichrist is going to come in. And listen, now he may not be on the scene, but I guarantee you one thing: he's got the stern will in his hand, and he's guiding the one that is in, in there. And we're going to see a peace treaty. We're going to see right. a, a peace. A calmness in our country, in Russia, and all of these other places. And you can see that it's coming. It's 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 coming right around, and that thing is going to happen. And it's going to be about a, 
about one term president, three and a half years. And listen, then, then, and then, the Antichrist will have everything where he wants it. He's going to step in and he's going to start giving us some of the best advice that we think that we'll ever have. Uh, he'll even tell us how to have free insurance all over the world. He'll tell us how to do all of these things. But listen, he's the Antichrist. And he is fixing to take over. And he's going to do his thing. Right. And and I'm not saying it's it's when it is or not, but hey, that's the path that he's going to take. Just as sure as this world. Amen. And so here he says uh, in verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake and dire places. All of these we've seen are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. But he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And so Amen. during that last three and a half years tribulation, people, I believe that the gospel is going to be preached like it never been preached before because these things that we have now, they they can use them in secret and they can preach and they can preach the word and it can go out and these people can be hid away and they can hear these this gospel and they they will be saved. A lot of uh, people will be saved through this during this last three and a half years. And so here uh, uh, in verse 15, and when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet Stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains, and let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothing. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. Amen. On the Sabbath day. So there's going to be a there's going to be a flight. There's going to be a there's going to be a something. I don't know what's going to happen, but there's going to, there's going to be a great turmoil going on, and it's going to be in Israel and and all the United States and and all the countries will be against Israel, and that's the sad part of it. But that's it's going to happen that way. I believe with all my heart. So here here is the. Uh, the thing in verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor even shall be and this goes along with what we read in Daniel about there's never been such a time as this and then he says and except those days should be shortened right there should no flesh be saved but for the elect sake those days shall be shortened then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right. So there's going to work, there's going to be saved people here. The elect. There's going to be people here, and they uh, if they're not going to be deceived, but the thing with this, they'll try to deceive them. But uh, they they won't. They won't accomplish that. But it's an encouragement. It's an encouragement to think of of how close we are Amen. to the to the edge of it, uh, uh, and what's going to happen. And uh, uh, you know, we we uh, we need to be closer to the Lord, but we are. But, you know, I know that the devil knows what's going on. I know that he's, he's wanting to hinder. He's wanting to fight. 
Right. He's wanting to break down and tear down and destroy anything that's got life. And so, just when he when he makes his advance towards you, when he tries to interfere with your life, when he tries to uh, uh, keep you from reading and studying and 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 trying to understand God's word, you just pray to God. Amen. Because God has got him by the collar. He's in charge of him. And listen, he can't do no more than God lets him. And that's the only assurance, that's the only way that I can say and tell you that you can get some relief. Amen. Because I don't know about you, uh, but I assume that it's the same with you as it is with me. Listen, I'm having problems. Mm -hmm. I'm having problems studying. I'm having problems getting trying to, to, to come up and, and read and, and, and make a few comments. I'm having problems. And it just keeps on and it keeps on. And, uh, I, you know, this morning, I, you know, uh, I just said, Lord, hey, I, I'm going. Right. I'm going. And I'm going to I'm gonna try and I'm going to ask you to, to do what you can because I know you're in charge. Right. And uh, I, know what, I know what we need. I know what I need and I know that there's no difference in you and me I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just not close enough to the Lord. Some, there's something in my life that's keeping me from, from being closer to the Lord. And I've, I've searched and searched and researched, and uh, one of these days I'll understand it better. But uh, that's, that's our problem this morning. It's my problem. Anyway, I'll present it as my problem and ask you to pray for me. And uh, I pray for you all every day. And I, and, and I, I think I pray for you. Because listen, we've got to do this. We've got to do this. We've got to hold together. And prayer is the only glue that will hold us together. Amen. And so, uh, we just need to keep these things in mind. And uh, just keep on plugging on. Because I guarantee he's out there with a big baseball bat. He's, he's out there and he's, he's, he'll use it on you if he gets a chance. And he'll hurt you bad. All right. Thank you all for listening to me. Pray for one another, and uh, we thank the Lord that we have the opportunity to say what we have. Amen. Thank you. All.